My brothers and sisters in Christ, today we pray for those battling COVID-19. Linda Raya's friend, Chrissy Widera, Lisa Polita's friend, Kevin, and his mother, Diane Struley's son, Peter, Loretta Sauer's co-worker, Wendy Casey, and John Gillen's father, George. We pray for Carol Margraff's neighbor, Fred Carty, as he re-enters cancer treatment, and for George Aram, who suffered a setback this week and is under treatment now at St. Catherine of Siena. And we grieve with those who mourn the passings of longtime St. James member Louise Trebing, Peter Bartolome, a good friend of Kristen Wadsworth, and the many who have lost their lives to the coronavirus, including Josephine Valenti, the great aunt of Christine Kenny, Frank Kenny, John's father, Alan Matza, Sandra McElveen's cousin, David Westlake, the brother of Pat Westlake, who heads up the Smithtown Emergency Food Pantry, and Eric Casey, the stepson of Loretta Sowers' co-worker, Wendy. And so, for the whole Church of God in Christ Jesus, and for all people according to their needs, let us bow our heads together in prayer. Hear us, O God, as we thank you that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and that in him we have so much hope for what you can do in our lives. May we grow into the new life into which we have been reborn. Or may we lift our empty hands and say, Lord, implant your life in me for Jesus' sake and bring me into your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us, O God, when we wander from true faith and look to things which cannot fulfill or save us. Remind us that we need and that we have been given your unending grace and steadfast love, that our lives would be centered on Jesus Christ, who has died and is risen for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Turn our nation and all nations from wickedness to the obedience which follows from trusting in you, the living God. Let the truth be told and all deception exposed. Break our culture's captivity to sin and open our ears to hear your word and have mercy, Lord. Look with favor on your people and work in us to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless, O Lord, all who are suffering, especially Chrissy, Kevin and his mom, Peter, Fred, Wendy, and George the families and friends of Louise, Peter, Josephine, Frank, Alan, David, and Eric, and all those you have placed on our hearts who we now name before you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Strengthen all of us, O Lord, who actively love our neighbor by making sacrifices in an effort to control the spread of the coronavirus. Comfort and cure all those afflicted with the disease and shelter from infection and fear all who care for the sick. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray trusting in your mercy through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.